Uh, I guess I'll go first. Right now, I just did five shows. I did I'll Look Around, definitely a very, very slow ballad that I never get to sing, and I'm really loving being being able to do it live with an audience because when you play something that's really, really slow and intense and you get to just like feel the tone in your voice kind of pass through the 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 bodies in the room and you get you get you get a gasp if you ever get a gasp it is like you know it's heart heart uh anyway i i don't know what it means i don't know how to speak Paula's laughing. It's so good to see. I'm Grace so laughing. not laughing. I'm so <laughs> Just grinning, I'm grinning. grinning. <laughs> That's so beautiful. <laughs> if you can get a gas. Heart connection. Heart connection. Yeah. All right. Your turn. Um, from my last album, my newest album, <clears throat> which is like my 11th album, um, it's called American Quilt. And it's um, like a collection of different American classics. Sometimes they're more folksy or bluesy and some are a little more jazzy and it, like it's i've it's listened diverse. to it, so i yeah. i want to i can't wait to hear what song if it's from that record yeah it's a diverse patchwork <clears throat> I, re I i love black mountain blues see that's I, what i'm i'm just gonna say that because it's sorry. been so no black mountain blues i mean i love performing sorry for interrupting. wayfaring stranger i really love performing shenandoah especially when i have my friend darcel wilson with me who just like takes it home to the gospel nether worlds but but i have to say there's been something so unbelievable about singing the blues it's just a simple 12 bar blues and it's been radical for me to come back to the blues also like being i'm i'm in my 50s now and and I feel like really entitled to sing the blues. <laughs> <laughs> and I like, you know, you suffer from imposter syndrome occasionally throughout your life. And you, I, I just feel like, I feel like I own it and there's more wisdom and pain in my voice and it, it just works. I also love honoring Bessie Smith with it. Like all the waters that flow from Bessie, she's, hmm kind of uncategorizable. She could be blues, but she could be folk or she could be uh, oh, jazz right. or, you know. Yeah, like, thank you for saying that. Finally, yeah. the first time I've heard anybody say uh, Bessie Smith is not just a, a the queen of the blues or was she the empress? She was the empress, empress of, of the blues. blues. Yeah, that's what they call yeah. her. But, but she was so far much, more than that. Yeah. So much more. I mean, Janis Joplin, her her biggest influence was Bessie Smith. And look at Janice was a blues singer from Texas, but but really like then changed rock and mm -hmm. rock and roll, right? So Bessie, I don't know. I feel like it's very profound for me to honor Bessie and to visit the simple art form of the 12 bar blues and, and sang, sang. And even like it's forced me to go and play piano on the blues more and open myself more as a piano player that way. So. I, I really have had such an education singing that song. That's so beautiful. 